In this tutorial we're going to start with our organic mirror blend file which we used and talked about in the last tutorial. Shift D to duplicate it because we want a spare copy. And if you press M you come up with this layers dialog. Click the last layer so we move that selected object to the last layer. So we've got a spare copy in case we want to use it which we will do later. Okay now if we use the control up arrow we maximize the viewport get it in a 3D view like this hit tab to get into edit mode as you've already done previously um, now we're ready to start just about ready to start modeling and editing now there's different ways of viewing the object when it's in subsurf mode like this and um, I'm going to show you a different one now control up arrow again if we come down to the subsurf modifiers you'll see there's these two little grey buttons here if I move, you move the mouse over you get a pop up show up as it says there, it's a, regarding applying the modifier to the, uh, sorry, applying the editing cage during the edit. Basically, it means that you'll see the mesh applied to the surface, or rather the cage applied to the surface of the mesh. It makes it easier to see what's going on when, you, when you're editing. So now, if we basically select one of the end phases, we're in mirror mode, drag it in so that we scale the object down, as you saw. Select these two bottom, imagine this is going to be the neck of the caterpillar. E to extrude, S to scale. S to scale it down, E to extrude again. We're extruding out the neck, although it's a little narrow, so we'll do something about that in that moment. Now, select this. We're going to actually do one of the eyes. Now, what you'll notice straight away is we were talking about clipping earlier. And it'll soon become apparent that that's not a suitable way to do the eyes because as we saw in the organic modeling tutorial the clipping makes a big difference so take the clipping off and then go back again and select these faces they're already still selected remember it's you to undo if you make a mistake now we're going to get two eyes rather than just the one object s to scale scale down the scale down the uh, mesh, E to extrude again, but this time drag it inwards to create two eye sockets, as simple as that. Now we can select meshes and move them around by using the translate widget. So it's right click to select, drag down, just to get the shape that we want. Now we've still got it with the clipping switched off, I'm going to make a pair of antenna on top of his head. I mean it's a stylized um, cartoony type character as you probably gathered. So do E to extrude, S to scale it up a little bit. Now the shape of these is, um, we want it to be more of a circular shape. So we can use the scale widget, which is the square. Click on the square and you get these squares on the end of the axes. And it's basically you drag them to scale in whichever direction you want to do it. And then we can stay like that and do E to extrude again. Doing it as sculpting, not you know, not worrying about what well, the accuracy is of the mirroring is automatic. It's built in now, obviously, because of the having mirroring switched on. E to extrude. This is really easy once you try it. That's that's a bit too large. They're almost touching. So we'll do U to undo those last two steps. I scaled it up too large, so let's not scale it quite so far. E to extrude. That's better. And there's the uh, the ends of the antenna. So already, as quickly as that, you can see how we've started to develop an organic shape, in this case our caterpillar's head. Now the neck, as I started to say earlier, is not quite the right shape, so we, with this scale widget selected still, we can just drag that out, scale it up, push it things around until we get a shape more or less what we, that we want to see. We're changing this back to the translate widget. Drag in and out so we get the shape that we want. Remember you the other thing that I'm not really doing here is obviously to save your file quite often. Once you've created the file name, do Control w to save. Now we're going to create the mouth. Now, as opposed to the eye, we, with the mouth is one object, so we want to take the clipping off. Now you see the advantage of being able to turn clipping on and off as you need it. Control and up arrow to maximize the viewport. Depends how big your screen is, you might not need to maximize the viewport. Now the thing is with that, that if you, I've done E to extrude here on these faces and you can see that the angle's not quite right. But we can rotate the faces as well. So we do U to undo 
Um, I'll just move the viewport down so you can see and choose the rotate widget. Okay, we rotate. We rotate these faces. Middle mouse and the mouse wheel it is to scroll and rotate around. Now you can see if we do E to extrude, S to scale, so we're creating new geometry for the mouth. I'm going to change it to the translate or trans, translate widget again, the move widget. If you just drag that at the moment, you see it's not going to do what we want. We need to always, or very often, do E to extrude to create some more geometry. Drag that back in like that. And then you can see that it's starting to make the shape of the mouth quite effectively. So we want to make that go further back and actually then cut it out the back. So we do E to extrude again. And I'm going to um, hit the delete key and delete the face, faces. And now that's created the mouth there and it's got open inside as you'll see. So there'll be a dark area inside the model. So I mean we're just with these very simple techniques and there are more you can actually create quite good models um, and also because it's a subsurf it's really quite good for um, for doing other work with such as um, when we animate so we'll save him give him a name this caterpillar model you'll find it on the CD the various versions as I saved it away so you can open up the modeling uh, the files in various stages to see how things have been created and I think that will do for the moment and then the next tutorials we'll carry on putting things together for this caterpillar.